the YouTube life I had expected when I was younger and what I am currently living now are are very different. I just remember thinking like when YouTubers don't meet every single fan, I was like, why don't they do that? I would do that. They, they're taking the time to watch my videos. I was so naive. Some videos, it's a, it's like a character of myself. It's like a, a an over-exaggerated version of myself. And then some videos where it's more raw and personal, that's me. Um, but I'd say the L Mills on YouTube is the L Mills I, I, I want to actually be. Welcome to Trapped in a Room with your family for 24 hours. What? My videos are just, you know, me, my friends, and family. I do draw inspiration um, from um, teen movies. I love John Hughes films, like Ferris Bueller, Home Alone, The Breakfast Club, you know, all the classics. I, I often say, think Ferris Bueller if you had a YouTube channel. Such my ideas basically just come from what's going on in my life currently. With the coming out video, it started off with coming up with the concept. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna tell my coming out story. I was like, what's the what's the what's the L Mills style? What's the L Mills thing to do when coming out? And I was like, it has to be big. It has to make a statement. Wrapping my house in rainbow wrapping paper would be the perfect way to come out to my family. Go! I did not expect that to blow up the way it did. The fact that I told a story helped. You know, I got footage, I, I uh, showed my friends reactions, I, I got really real with the camera. Mia has always been like a negative undertone about the LGBTQ plus community. And I, I uh, showed my family as well. I think visualizing the story for everyone really, you know, helped people resonate with it more. Hi, I'm Elle Mills, and I'm bisexual. My videos are, they're like my diary entries, and people can choose to watch them or not, but like, I put my all into them. But I didn't expect um, how it would affect my mental health. This is all I ever wanted, and why the f am I so unhappy? I thought I would be super happy about everything, and not exhausted. People constantly need content. Like they're checking their phone every day. They're they're refreshing, and they're gonna find a new creator. And it's hard, and it's, it's still a learning process for me. I've been trying to not having a schedule for videos, and just doing it when I have a, an idea coming to mind, and not try to force an idea. Um, that's been really helpful for me. So you're probably thinking, what now? And to be honest, I don't. No. People like to say that I'm a storyteller, but uh, yeah, I'd love to tell my stories on a bigger scale. I think directing is probably number one, but I do love being on camera and I love attention, so I, I can't see myself never being on camera, um, but directing is definitely, I think, where my heart is at.